Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to break out of the Chinese firewall. If you live in China, you will already know that many, a lot of sites that we like to use are blocked, such as Facebook.com, Twitter, and of course YouTube will not work. YouTube.com, this website isn't available. Facebook and Twitter are still going, but um, trust me, they won't work. We try and load up a Chinese website. It does work. Very quickly. Okay, so Facebook and Twitter are both unavailable. Alright, so we're going to go to google.com. And just to note that um, I am using a Windows computer. It's Windows 7. And I'm using Windows. Um, we're using Google Chrome today for our browser. We also have Firefox open and we will need a zip program a Wins I use 7-zip um, that used to be WinZip that was very pop used to be very popular and there's also WinRAR but 7-zip works very well and it's also free so that's good okay we're gonna go to google.com and we're searching for go agent G -O -A, or you can see how to spell it here and it should be the uh, what we're looking for is the first link um, it's code.google.com forward slash p forward slash go agent so we're going to click that and it brings up their page alright so we're using google chrome because this is all in chinese and all we need to do in chrome is right click and select translate to english and all of a sudden magically the website becomes english now you can read through all of this later, um, the page if you want to, but right now we don't need to go through all that. What we're going to do is download um, this. We're going to click this link at the very top. I will also put a link to that underneath this video. So we're downloading Go Agent. Download, download, download. Okay, done. So we right click this, we show in folder. I'm going to unzip it, right click and extract here. Okay, so now we've got it downloaded and unzipped. I'm going to go back to Google Chrome. Okay. Oh, one thing I didn't mention, we will also need a Gmail account today. Okay. Um, if you don't have one, just pause the video and quickly go make one now. Um, it's very easy, it shouldn't take you more than five minutes. So now we need to go to this. So if we on this Go Agent page, we scroll down and we need to open appengine.google.com. Alright, and it will take you here. So this is a Google account that I made earlier, specifically for this video. You need to enter your Gmail password and your your ID and password. Sign in. Okay, now we come to this page. Click Create Application. And now it asks you to verify your account. It's going to ask you for your phone number and it will send you a text message hopefully I can blur this my phone number out later on don't want to be getting prank calls from you guys so now I'm waiting for Google to send me a text message okay so now we've got our verification code we click verify um, it shouldn't take too long to receive it's usually quite quick if, if the um, if the text message doesn't work, you can also um, select call. Uh, it's all it's very quick. All right, so we're gonna make um, our application or application identifier. Sorry, Y T C N P R. Why? I'm just going to make my application name the same name as my Gmail account, otherwise I will most likely forget. Application title, go agent for YT. Okay. 
that's um, that came from one I made earlier. You need you will need to type it in yourself. Um, you don't need to touch any of these settings. You click I accept these terms, and then you cr click create application. So again, what you need to, uh, to do on this page is fill out your application identifier and application title. This is not important. This name you will need to remember since it will be the uh, web address of your proxy. So you click check and it's available. Alright, so we click I accept these terms and create application. Alright, so application registered successfully. Now let's view the dashboard. Alright, no data available and we have no files yet. Oh, what's this? Okay, we can dismiss this. Alright, so we go back to our downloaded folder and we go to into download, we go into local and we need to open up proxy.ini. It should open automatically in Notepad. If it doesn't, you right click open with notepad all right and we need to edit um, this right here the app ID it's on the one two three four five six seven eighth line app ID in this we in here we need to input our app ID which is the application ID of the Google app engine it shows it to you right here So let's go ahead and put that in, YTCNPRXY. Now obviously your own um, application name will be different to mine. So let's put that in and then we're going to go file and save. So now we've saved that, close this, let's go back here, go back to the main folder and we need to open up server folder and we double click upload.bat. Now this command line window will pop up. And here it's asking us for our app ID again. And our app ID is YTCNPRXY. Put that in, you hit enter. Now all this does is it's uploading um, all these files in this folder to the Google App Engine in servers. So now it's asking us for our email address. We need to use the email address for the Gmail account that we made our app with. So it's ytcnprxy at gmail.com. I'm not sure if we can use this with um, Google Apps do domains that are hosted on Google Apps. We may be able to. I don't know. So we need to put our Gmail password in. And we hit enter and now we wait it shouldn't take very long it's just uploading the files for us alright deployment successful it's checking alright and we're good um, once this line of gibberish at the bottom comes up you can close this command line window and then we will hit refresh in our dashboard our app engine dashboard and we should have a bunch of stuff populated down here that means that uh, we successfully in installed go agent onto Google app engine so now we have a web